Guys, we have simply got to become men of prayer. This is the crisis, I think. That would be my answer to the question that the Cardinal asked. What is the crisis? Faith. We have got to pray. We're relying on ourselves and on our own strength, and quite frankly, it's way beyond us. Our families, our parishes, our children, our schools, growing in virtue, whatever it is that's in front of us, it's too much for us. That's okay. It's truth. We can't do it, and we don't have to, because we have a Father. I remember a set of years ago, about five years ago now, I was just praying over and over again, Jesus, teach me how to live. I have no idea how to live. I don't know what it means to be a man. You get caught up in this mentality of I'm not being productive, if I'm not doing something, and I've got no use. And sooner or later, that'll kill you. A priest I used to live with looked at me one day and he just said to me, John, once you have the heart attack, you're going to have time. <laughs> Why don't you have time now? And so I remember praying one day, just saying, Lord, help me understand how to live. And I got an image. It's been one of the most helpful images I've ever gotten in my life. The image was Jesus in Capernaum, probably in Peter's house, because that's, I think, where he lived, asleep at night, soundly, dreaming well, without any guilt. And outside in the town, people are sick, people are dying. All sorts of things are happening. And he's asleep. And I don't think the Lord was showing this to me to say, you know what, John, you need to become lazy. I think he was trying to teach me, you know what, if the eternal Son of God and the Savior of the world can sleep well at night, then what am I doing up? Who in the world do I think I am? And how is it that he's sleeping? Because he entrusts everything to the Father. He knows his Father. He knows he's good. He knows his plan is perfect. He knows the end. And so he sleeps. Maybe some of us would sleep a little better and our lives would go a little smoother if we imitated the sun and stopped relying on ourselves and relied more on the Father. And the way he knew the Father was because they shared one nature. huh? The way you and I get to know the Father is the way that you and I get to know anybody, which means we must spend time. I like to watch the Golf Channel. There's a guy in the Golf Channel, for any of you who watch, his name is Dave Pels. Dave Pels flat out guarantees me that if I spend 10 minutes a day putting, my scores will be lower. Promises it. Ten minutes a day. I haven't tried it yet. I'm not that fanatical about the game that I'm willing to give up ten minutes a day to putt. But imagine what spending 30 minutes a day with the king of the universe would do. 30 minutes a day with the king of the universe. How many of us would, you know, make an effort to run during our lunch hour at work? if we knew that the guy who was waiting for us at lunch was one of our heroes in the military, or Vince Lombardi, or one of our heroes from sports or politics, or anybody, one of our heroes alive now, wouldn't you make an effort to get there? Wouldn't you make an effort to get up early in the morning to go have breakfast with someone like that, who you admire and respect and esteem, want to imitate, whose presence calls you on to greatness, who reminds you that you can do this? I'd get up for that. So can we get up for the Lord? 30 minutes a day. I was going to challenge us just to begin to pray. I was going to challenge us with 10 minutes a day, and then I thought, this is a men's conference. Huh? (laughs) 
Not a boys' conference, no offense, young guys, but this is a men's conference. And we want the young men here to grow up to be men. And as a, a friend of mine who teaches at Catholic Central always says, all boys set out to be men, some of them make it. Some of them make it. You don't fall into manhood. It has to do with character. And the only way you and I can learn what it means to be a man and to grow in the character that we're supposed to have is to waste time with our Father. So, 30 minutes a day. That's the challenge. If you're not doing it, begin today and watch what happens.